went through like a giant hail and thunderstorm. What's up? It's me, Tony G, coming to you from Harrington Raceway and Casino. This is episode 55 of my vlog. In this episode, we're going to play poker. That's what we're here for. We're going to go play poker. $45 nightly tournament, $500 guarantee. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to go ship this thing. Here we go. Hey, in the very first hand of the night, I have the Ace of Diamonds, the Four of Hearts, and the Small Blind. Blinds are 25 and 50 at this current time. It's 50 to call, so I call, and we're three ways to the flop. The flop comes out six of hearts, five of diamonds, the three of diamonds. It checks around the middle position, who makes it 100. And look at my cards. I do decide to call with the flush draw on board with the ace high. And the big blind also calls, and we are still three ways to the turn, which is the five of clubs. Middle position checks. I go ahead and bet 275. The big blind folds, and the middle position calls. The river is the nine of hearts. It checks around, and we flip them over, and the middle position has a pair of nines, so we lose the first hand of the night. Okay, the next level, blinds are now 100-100, and I have the eight of clubs and the eight of hearts on the button. We have a bunch of folds, and it folds around to me, and I decide to go ahead and raise it up. I raise it up to $400 at this point. Uh, there are a couple more folds, and we are three ways to the flop. And the flop comes out the nine of clubs, the three of spades, and the five of spades. The gentleman to my left checks. Ultimately, it checks all the way around to me. I bet a thousand. Everyone else folds, and we take down this pot. Okay, in the last hand before break, I have the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Spades in the big blind. It folds around to me. I think there are two callers at the big blind amount, which is 50 at the time. I make it 400. We have two other callers at that amount, and we are now three ways to the flop and the flop comes out the four queen king rainbow diamond heart and club I bet 400 only the under the gun calls and the middle position folds the turn is the seven of clubs under the gun bets 800 I decide to just go ahead and call the 800 and the river is the eight of spades. I look at my cards again, decide to throw out a bet of 1500. The under the gun tanks after he clarifies the bet for quite a while, a good 30 seconds or so. Ultimately, he decides on a call. He flips over queen 10. We flip over our aces, and we are good with a pair of aces versus his pair of queens.
Well, we're on the first break. I had one really good hand with aces. A guy called me down to the river and I, I won, but I bled off a bunch of chips in the beginning. I'm down to about 3,000 with a 5,000 starting sack. The average chips are about 5,800 right now. See if we can come back and uh, run this thing up a little bit more and maybe make it a little bit further. One of the first hands after break, I have the ace of diamonds, the queen of spades in middle position. Blinds are 150, 300 uh, at this point. It gets to the under of the gun, who makes it 700. Uh, with the strong hand, I decide to go ahead and re-raise. Probably not the best position, but I go ahead and re-raise in middle position to 1400. And the button goes all in for about 2450 effective and ultimately call the 2450 we go ahead and flip it over and the board runs out the two of hearts the jack of clubs the queen of diamonds the ace of clubs and the nine of hearts versus his pair of tens and we knock him out with uh, two pair aces and queens. All right, break number two, just dunked off about 6,000 in ships. Oh man, with a pair of eights. He had a king high, king came out on a flop. I don't even know. I'm kind of half half thinking. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now, but second break, we got about uh, eight big blinds left. We'll probably be getting it in soon. Here we go. First hand after the break, I have the nine of hearts, the nine of diamonds in the big blind. Lines are 200, 400. And after my buddy across the table decides to fold, a couple other people fold, the button folds, the small blind folds. And being the short stack, uh, I decide to go ahead and throw it all in for about 4,200 effective. A couple other people fold, and the guy in the middle position, who's the big stack, asks for a count. Once he gets the count, he decides to go ahead and make the call with pocket threes and the board runs out the king of diamonds, the ace of hearts, the eight of diamonds, the four of clubs. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. And then, boom, river, three of spades. And I'm out of the tournament. He rivered a set of threes. Well, that's the end of that first hand after break. 9-9 nine, nine in the big blind. 4,200 effective, I go all in versus pocket threes. King on the flop, no big deal. Seven on the turn, river, three. What am I gonna do? Set of threes versus my pocket nines and we are out in 38th place out of 90 people or 78 people, something like that. I guess you can't cash them all.
Well, this dude right here, right here, the 23rd place. Out of, out of 72, 78, not bad. A lot better than I did. That was 41st. Had went all in with what, King Queen? King Queen and didn't get one card on the board. And they chopped, because Ace is chopped. Ace nine and Ace nine chopped versus the King Queen. Hey, we're gonna go throw some money on the roulette table real quick, and then head to the turtle. The green turtle, that is. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode. And remember, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.